I think that without question that the genetic as aspect, the genetic basis for cleft lip and palate will be uh, worked out in, in great detail over the next 10 to 15 years. And, and I think this will help families and may well help children who, who are born with cleft lip and palate. Uh, the diagnosis of cleft lip and palate has changed incredibly. Fifteen years ago, most of the parents that came with me with a cleft were totally surprised when the baby was born. They had no idea. There was no history. Then often they go back and they find out that Uncle Charlie or a distant relative had a cleft, and that's often the case. But nevertheless, they would say, there's no history of clefting in our family. All of a sudden, we have a cleft lip. Nowadays, in my, in my clinic, I think about 70% of the of the parents are seen prenatally, the mother is seen and she knows she has a cleft because it was picked up on a routine screen in an ultrasound center and then is more clearly worked out with uh, sometimes with MRI studies and the ultrasounds are getting better and better than I have 3D ultrasounds and I, I saw one the other day that just remarkable, it, it looked like a photograph practically. So imaging, uh, there'll be able to pick up other anomalies which are sometimes associated with cleft lip and palate and that will, that will obviously uh, affect uh, prenatal care and, uh, and uh, care of the newborn.